Monday night's deadly shooting here at Craig Ranch Villas is raising concern. According to North Las Vegas police, from 2021 to 2023, domestic violence crimes went up nearly 20%. Well, man, we, we don't prepare for stuff like this. Facing a future without loved ones. It's a sad reality for the families of the five people killed in a shooting at a North Las Vegas apartment complex Monday night. It hurts so much because of, I'm lonely now. That's my family's gone. At a vigil Wednesday, family and friends of the victims gathered and embraced. They shared memories, lit candles, and released balloons. One, two, and three. North Las Vegas police say the gunman is 47-year-old Eric Adams. A background check on Adams reveals he had a criminal history dating back more than 25 years. He was a convicted felon and arrested on domestic violence and battery charges more than 20 times. Court records show he even completed a domestic violence counseling course earlier this month. Domestic violence situations can be very unpredictable. Unfortunately, sometimes these homicides happen. Beth Flurry is the executive director at Safe House, a comprehensive center for domestic violence and sexual assault victims. Domestic violence is a huge problem in the Las Vegas Valley as well as in the state of Nevada. She tells me Nevada consistently ranks in the top five states for domestic violence homicides and says Monday night shooting is a reminder more needs to be done to prevent lives lost. Domestic violence impacts more than just the victim. It can impact family members, friends, and in, in this case, even neighbors. According to the Nevada Coalition to End Domestic and Sexual Violence, there were 72 domestic violence homicides in 2023. 56 of those were in Clark County. Over the years, North Las Vegas police say they've worked to combat crime in the growing community, including opening this new command center back in May. These people that we love so much are not with us no more. Now all that the families of the victims can hold on to from this tragedy are their memories. I know they're looking down on us right now. In North Las Vegas, I'm Jay Wan Jung.